Hi guys, Steve here. On this video, I'm going to show you how we built this yard. I want to concentrate on the most important stuff and just leave out the easier bits that you should already know how to do. We needed a new place to do breeding and mutations and I've always wanted to build a huge pyramid. But instead of building it all in one go, I thought I'd start off with a quarter, show you how we built it and make it into a shard. I built this on a Ragnarok map at coordinates 57 by 35. Here you'll find a huge open area that's perfectly flat. We started off by building a square foundation, 30 tiles by 30 tiles wide. The foundation lines inside was to make sure that the ground was level. Next I built two walls, one square in from a corner. Then from there built slope walls sloping down. They're going to be the slope's main foundation. And from there, put a slope roof on top. One each side. Then from here, you can extend it across to go the full length of the foundation. Both lower sides are done. So we've got two walls in this corner. Put a ceiling on top. Then the slope walls each side. Now that will support the next level of slope roofs. But we're going to need to keep building up. So what I'm going to do is build three ceilings around the back. Like so. So it's four ceilings there in total. That way we can build a slope roof sideways. Out from here. Fit a wall. I can put two walls there again to support the next structure. Put another ceiling on top. And from here I can build four more ceilings. And two slope roofs. And I can build the slope roofs off from there for this level. Just move up. There we go, it's starting to take shape. Move around to the inside. Show you what it looks like. There we go. If you wanted to, you could delete the inside ceiling. You don't really need it. It's the main side ones that support the walls above that you need to keep. I'm going to leave them in for now on this build because I'm thinking of placing turrets all up along the spine. And it's that spine I'm going to focus on for a while because it's one of the most important features of this build. You find just using three ceiling tiles like that in a V. But like I said, I'll put a fourth one down in case I want to put a turret on top of it. And then the slope walls for the sides. You can put walls down now if you want. There we go, it's taking shape. This is a spine a bit further along. Taking shape nicely. That's the ghost come to visit. Let's put the ceiling down. This time I'm going to start with the walls. You can build it any way you want, as long as the walls and the slope walls are on the three inner ceilings. Michelle's helping me build this. Looking good. You don't need pillars to support this spine. As long as you've got foundations underneath, then you can keep building up and have it completely open inside. It's getting higher and higher. We're almost to the other side. Some side panels in.
Next thing we did was build walls up from the opposite corner, all the way up to where we meet the spine. Then we put a behemoth tech gate each side, and started to fill in a glass greenhouse wall. It's starting to take shape now, isn't it? Now it's joined up. Made a start on the glass wall. I've encased the top of the tech gates with ceilings and walls. I built a wall up to each on the outer pillar, then ceilings across until we meet the corner wall. I think that height's going to be an internal floor, but I've not decided yet. And if you were wondering, yes we are using admin commands <laughs> and spawning this in. There's no way in hell I'm farming all this. We built normal greenhouse walls up, then put slanted greenhouse walls on the side. You need to finish a glass wall before you put a final slope roofs in, otherwise it won't let you put a slope glass in underneath a slope roof. When we got to the inner floor level, we left a side open so we could place the ceiling tiles down. If we had enclosed the roof first, then try and put in the floor, we wouldn't have been able to place the ceiling tiles inside as the roof tiles would block them. Once the first row of floor tiles were down, then we could enclose that area with roof tiles. like from the inside. I'm just going to build that out when it's done. Here we've completed both glass walls at the front and the slope roof on the opposite side. We're just finishing off this one. Like so, almost there. Looking good. Just got to fill in that top bit. Good shape. It's a good camera angle. Ended up being pretty high. Now the shell's finished, I'll show you inside. I wanted to let light in from above, so I ended up doing an ornate glass floor. And as you can see below, we've got a huge amount of space. Let's load the light in. And plus with a glass floor, I can see the shapes above. Makes a nice pattern. Not sure what to put up there yet. I move to the back of the base to show how much space we have. I decided to remove a fourth ceiling tile, as the server's closed and I didn't really need turrets, but I wanted to show you in place in case you used a version of this pyramid for a PvP base, obviously without a glass front. So with the building done, all we've got to decide now is what to put inside. I know I wanted this for breeding and mutations, so I'm going to have to come up with somewhere to hold and raise the dinos. We decided to have a main living quarters and hatching area at the back, and then two holding cages either side. But as you can see on the left, we had to remove some of the ceiling tiles, as it wouldn't let us place the slanted walls underneath them. To get the wall to butt up to the ceiling, we had to move the ceiling tiles from either side. Then place the slope walls. We were designing this on the go, so we wouldn't have needed to remove part of the roof if we'd known what the inside design was going to be. Now we can put the slate roof back on. 
and the internal wall will butt up nicely to it and everything will look good. Next we started work on the incubation room. We wanted the air conditioners under the ground otherwise dinos could get trapped in them. I laid the electric cables out first, I placed the aircon and then tried to cover them over with foundations. Uh oh. But it only worked in some areas and was blocked in others. So we ended up putting ceiling towers on top and colouring different colours to show where the aircons were. These doors are just two small tech gates on top of each other. And that's how we built the shard. To see it being used in action, Michelle has created the best breeding and mutations video any YouTuber or anyone on the planet has ever created. It's took her over a month to do it. It goes in depth and great detail so you won't go wrong. And I'll link her mutations video at the end and in the description below. So definitely check it out guys if you want to see the best mutations video ever made. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe if you've not already, and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to other videos at the end, comment on what you would like to see. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye!